Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to your favorite girl on the internet. That's me, by the way. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette, and in this video, I document my weight loss journey in a vlog format, showing you guys the ups and downs, the ins and outs of what it's like for me on my personal weight loss journey. Before we get into the video, I would ask that you would give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video, subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all things that I am doing, and comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. And without further ado, let's get into this week's vlog. So I obviously got dressed and did my makeup today. I am done. I also got my hair done. Ooh, good tongue pop, girl. <laughs> it's like my favorite thing to do is a tongue pop. And the fact that I can now do them just brings me so much joy. Do things that bring you joy, guys. Do things that bring you joy. But... I have a load of laundry that I need to put away. Can't see it because it's literally on the floor. And I ain't showing you the floor. I ain't showing you the floor. But it is like 8.30 or something like that. So I'm going to start work a little bit earlier today. And yeah, I uh, woke up just really tired. I woke up around 7.30 and I was just like, you know what? I'm not going to work out today. I am just going to focus on eating good food, <laughs> the food that I have. So right now I don't have like a ton of food in the fridge for myself. I'm actually going to work from my bed this morning so I'm going to get my little snack here. But I don't have a lot of food and I need to do a food shop. Anyways, I need to get started on work. I'm going to have this core bar. It is. It is lunchtime. I already had one sausage prior to this. So this is my second chicken sausage, Chick-fil-A sauce, and then couscous with mixed vegetables. And then I'm gonna have a couple bars of my oatmeal cookie dough, dark chocolate evolved bar, and watching TV, probably some Bob's Burgers. I've got bad habits, I'm trying to fix. I don't think you'd want to I distance myself so it doesn't hurt But I'm still in pain either way Don't know why you give me the time of day Cause I don't think I'm worth the wait, no I don't think you should Begins. I already see what's going 
Maybe I'm just sinking with Gene here because I'm watching Bob's Burgers and his stomach was not feeling well. And then I started thinking about my stomach and I was like, you know what? I'm going to eat some saltines. So that is what I'm going to do. Granted, when I did finish my probiotic bar, my stomach did start feeling a little bit tingly. So I don't know. Could have been a number of things. I don't know. Also, I think I have my new base down. My foundation, 330 from Rare Beauty, is uh, a little bit too light for me, but I mix it with my old foundation from Milk because it oxidized, and it gives me a pretty good shade, and I go in with my Charlotte Tilbury. But I think I'll do a video on it soon to show my updated everyday face. So... So I'm really liking it. It's giving me a flawless finish and I like the way that I look with it. Also the parting still staying in the middle because it hurts to move it to the other side. I have not done knotless braids yet because that requires you to get your hair done more often. And there's a lot of money. So because I plan to keep this in for six to eight weeks. And with knotless braids, that's half the time. At least that's what I'm told, and that's the research that I found. So, yeah. I'm gonna have some of these now, these saltines. Also, I'm really loving this lip combo. It's really nice. Nice little nude moment. So I can already tell that today is going to be a long day. Also, I finished my saltines. Nothing left. Nothing left. Nothing left for me to do there. But I realize I have not made a matcha latte in quite a bit. And I still have quite a bit of almond whipped cream. <laughs> so I'm going to treat myself to a matcha latte. And I am going to make that now. Today has been extremely busy. And you know what? I don't think it would hurt for me to have a little bit of caffeine in my system. morning I am waking up feeling a little nauseous again but I'm gonna make myself eat some instant oatmeal my grandma gave me all these instant oatmeal packs that she didn't want so I'm gonna eat them I added peanut butter and kefir to the instant oatmeal and that is my breakfast so I'm currently making my lunch and I'm probably going to go to Costco and do a food shop because I need some food and I need to figure out what to eat that will make me excited to eat my food at home but it is supposed to snow today apparently so don't know how I feel about that because I've been seeing what's been going on in the east coast and that's a lot of snow also today, I had a meeting and it just went a little rough and so I'm kind of just feeling down about it and I know I shouldn't let it affect the rest of my day but it just feels discouraging, you know? 
when you hear things that you're just like especially like I don't know I don't know if I should go into it pretty much when someone doubts your capabilities it's just hard to hear and hard to take in and it's not that I'm not capable and that I can't do something because I can I am capable and I've proved myself that way but you know sometimes there's still doubt from others about your capabilities and that can just be disheartening to hear and discouraging and just kind of like a blow to your self confidence because especially if you've done something in the past that you're like this should show but you know people will still have their doubts about you and that is just a part of life and it sucks I wish it wasn't a part of life I wish we didn't have to go through that but it does happen um so makes me even more motivated to just be like well let me prove you wrong I can do this um but it's just hard it's interesting because how I'm acting now like I feel like in the past I would have been really pissed and just really upset and shown that but I feel like now I'm kind of just like I'm more tame I don't understand where this tameness is coming from the Lord is doing something someone is praying for me because I was thinking about this last month or a couple months ago about how my road rage was gone because I had really bad road rage and someone must have been praying because I do not have road rage anymore when people cut me off I'm kind of just like well at least I'm safe and I wasn't hit so that's the best I could ask for and that we're both not in an accident like literally that's like my thought process now so someone been praying for me and the lord is on my side but anyways i am enough of that talk um just gotta get through that the sky is starting to look a little bit grayer which means that snowstorm is coming girl um i should have walked today but hey what what can you do so i am going to When people drive like old cop cars as their normal car, I find it the most odd thing ever when I see it. I don't get it. Anyways, I am going to show you guys the food that I make that I warmed up essentially when it's ready. And I'm going to try to find some recipes that are easy to put together. I typically like eating hot food when it's cold outside and you know I can handle like salads because that's cold food to me um, when it's warm outside you know so because like when you're hot you want to cool down with something and then when you're cold you want to warm up that's that's kind of the tea so I think I'm gonna go for that and then also the only meal that I had this morning was fine. It was great. I don't feel as nauseous as I did earlier, but I think I do want to go back to having avocado on toast and add some bacon for breakfast. Because I think I just need to, you know, I enjoyed that more. I enjoyed eating that more than I do eating my oatmeal. I've just gotten to a point where I'm just like, I don't want to eat that stuff anymore. Then some oatmeal is fine. I'll eat it for now. But... I want avocado on toast with egg and with bacon and I just for lunch I need to figure out what I'm gonna do for lunch and dinners because I kind of want like pasta y type stuff but I want it to be heavily based in vegetables so maybe like stir fries is something that I should get into I think I discovered it stir fries that's what I'm gonna do um, like a stir fry pasta type of situation like lo mein or something That's what I'm gonna do. Ears coming out. Gotta cover that cover that little ear. <sighs> Still tight, as we can all see. Checking with you guys in a bit. Alright. So I'm gonna quickly go over my food shop. 
I got goat cheese, some ground turkey, some Korean barbecue style chicken, just some power greens, Brussels sprouts, some avocados, a lot of coconut oil, eggs, um, a thing of ice cream, vanilla ice cream. I got dairy-free clam chowder, because clam chowder is my favorite, and the fact that it's dairy-free makes me so happy, so I had to get this. I got some bread and this rice ramen as well, um, two things of celery juice and a pomegranate juice. And I got brown pure cane sugar because I plan on baking, and I'm going to need that along with the coconut oil for my bakes as well as eggs because I will be baking with eggs as well as making avocado and toast. So that is the food shop. So I'm currently making dinner. I am going to have the dairy-free wild clam chowder that I just got from Costco. And I forgot to mention on my way to Costco, I had a core bar. So I'm gonna have my clam chowder right now and wait for it to warm up. I added a little bit of water to it so that it's not sticking so but it I probably added a little bit too much water to be quite honest with you um but that's okay it's not gonna be as creamy because I added too much water but I'm sure it'll taste really good it's tasting good so far so I'm just gonna put that up on high I'll show you guys that when that's done and I'm gonna continue drinking my water like I do every single day because I drink a lot of water. I basically drink up to a gallon of water a day. In case you're wondering, and my battery's dying, so I need to go charge that. I made it too soupy, like watery, not soupy, and that's okay. I'm gonna have it with a little bit of saltines and call it a night. All right, guys, I'm about to watch Bridgerton. However you say it, hopefully I'm saying it correctly. And I'm going to have a wee bit of ice cream and continue some work that I need to get done. So I'm gonna have this while I watch Bridgerton. It is the so delicious, very vanilla cashew milk. Honestly, it tastes like regular vanilla ice cream, like the best ice cream ever for a dairy-free option. Cause I remember getting like Bluebell and that vanilla version was like so good and this is on par. Yeah, today was kind of a rough day work-wise so it drowned me sorrows in some ice cream but that's okay because everything else that I got today at Costco was very healthy and I'm excited to eat good food so I got things that are gonna switch it up for me hopefully in terms of food and yeah, I am excited to eat. So I will check in with you guys tomorrow.
for a walk forgot to document that I brought my camera with me but I just didn't show that I went for a walk but anyways I am having breakfast now I am having oatmeal like I did yesterday I'm actually liking the instant oatmeal but you know I did get avocado and I did get bread and a lot of eggs the oatmeal so you guys can see so I'm gonna have that take my vitamins and I will check in with you guys later. Well, you know how I was doubted yesterday. I'm given the opportunity to prove myself and hopefully show that I am capable again, that I can do something. So yeah, I, it's hard because like when people doubt you and your capabilities and the things that you can do and say it in such a roundabout way it's especially when it's coming from a person who should be on your side it definitely makes it challenging but at the same time it's good because it's definitely going to push me to be the best version of myself so although he ha like although the people will probably doubt you your entire life and doubt myself my entire life it just for me I and hopefully this is an encouragement to you as well you can do it like even if it means taking your time and it takes longer you can do it and you are capable and you are enough to be able to do things that you set your mind towards like I get it there are things that you know in a normal sense you might think oh I might not be able to do that but there's more than one way of doing something and there's more than one way of accomplishing a goal so sometimes it just means that you have to think outside the box to achieve what you want to achieve but I think we are all more than capable of doing the things that we dream of doing and, you know, showcasing our strengths. And yes, we all have weaknesses, but at the same time, our weaknesses are what make us to be able to make those eventually into our strengths. So, yeah, there's still doubt, but that's okay because that's a driving force for your girl and she is going to do it because she's still on the project. So that's exciting.
in October, it feels like summertime I keep falling for you like every night Been communicating through satellites, yeah It's black and white I'm all up in the clouds when it's pouring rain Ain't never coming down unless you call my name Yeah, we should take it slow just like day by day Like day by day I'm all up in the clouds when it's pouring rain Ain't never coming down unless you call my name Yeah, we should take it slow just like day by day Like day by day
so I <laughs> I stretched and then I decided oh I am just going to do a deep clean so I like vacuumed the entire house and I cleaned the kitchen my bathroom's already clean but it just vacuuming took a long time because I decided to take up a bunch of the cushions in the couch and like clean under it and like, like vacuum that and that just took a lot of time I still have to put away like some laundry there and then I have my old laptop which I need to go to Best Buy today and have them recycle the laptop because they can do that for you um, yeah so that is what I'm going to do and I have not eaten at all so I'm actually going to get myself a core bar right now glad I have one although I did eat two yesterday oh yeah that's right so I weigh I weigh 223 pounds so have not changed so I just got back and I got raising canes um, I just had a little bit of root beer So here is my chicken sandwich and fries, and then I got the cane sauce on the side. So I don't know what cane sauce is, so I got it on the side to see. Ooh, I definitely don't think I can have that. It tastes kind of like ranch or blue cheese, and that means it has a lot of dairy in it. So I'm going to throw that out, unfortunately. But yeah, it tastes as though it's milk based, but it's okay because I got my Chick-fil-A. Hey, so I'm gonna eat this now. Today has been a Frank Ocean type of day. But I've accomplished quite a bit. I've been meaning to get rid of that laptop for such a long time by dropping it off to Best Buy to recycle. And I've been meaning to shred a bunch of documents. And I finally did that. And yeah, I'm like getting things in order. All my tax documents are in order for me to do my taxes. Um, and I cleared out this bowl that has all of my incense and my palo santo and sweet grass that I burn in my room. One of the incense that I got, it's from Brother Belly's and they do this something special subscription and Brother Belly's is like a sustainable and ethical brand and it's black owned business. So you should definitely support. I'll leave a link in the description. But in one of the something specials, she sent incense that she had that like is very close to her because it's a scent that her that she shares with her mom. And the scent is beautiful, but it is very strong and spicy. So I usually am able to burn through an incense stick the entire thing and not have an issue in terms of breathing it in but this one was just so strong that you would want it to go throughout your entire house to kind of or like at least open a window and my roommate does not like incense so I try not to like burn it too much um or if I do burn it I like close the door so it like stays in my room because she's just not the biggest fan of it and I grew up with it and I understand like not Everyone is a huge fan of incense or Palo Santo or Sweetgrass and stuff like that. And I like the smell. Like it's like a nice earthy, musky, sometimes spicy, sometimes sweet, obviously smoky scent. I don't know. And it just, it warms me up when I smell those scents. But anyways, I need to eat dinner because I've spent the day just listening to Frank Ocean. I cleaned a lot this morning, as you guys saw. 
and you didn't see actually I didn't show you me cleaning so that's a lie but I told you about it but I have cleaned and I have done adulting things I did some errands and stuff like that and I'm currently still listening to Frank Ocean because he is the vibe and making me feel better after a week that was just a little stressful and a little hard and also another thing that I cleaned out was my phone I have so many tabs open on my phone and I cleared out of a lot of them and I bookmarked a lot and so that like I don't have a lot of these tabs open I still have maybe like five or six but before it was like maybe like 15 or 20 so I think tomorrow I might tackle my emails uh, my personal emails just to clean out my email box because I need to do that but tonight I'm definitely going to edit I need to read because I need to get on top of my reading I've only read one book so far this year and I really need to finish up the two that I'm currently reading which is one is for my book club and one is just personally for myself so need to need to get on that as well as editing the next video so it can go live tomorrow. I need a, I need a, I need the video to go live because I was supposed to have it go live today and I did not edit because I was cleaning. It might go live tonight actually because usually as soon as I finish editing the video, I just upload it right then and there and publish. That's what I've been doing because I said I was going to do two times a week and I just, I did it for a couple weeks and then didn't do it so I need to get back on it so that I'm not so far behind with videos I'm gonna get there guys I'm gonna get there but I'm really quite quaving I'm really craving a sweet treat and I said I wouldn't get ice cream by itself but I don't think I'm going to get ice cream tonight. I think I am going to get a cookie instead, which is a lot cheaper. Whole Foods has this like brown sugar chocolate chip cookie. That's really good. So I might do that or a brownie. I mean, Chick-fil-A also has a brownie. That's really, really good. So I don't know if I might do that. And then I'll probably have clam chowder um, to like finish off the night. <sighs> It's sad because I'm going to be out of clam chowder. I think I should save it and have something else. Maybe I should have a different type of soup. Because I, I do want to have some soup. So I'll see if Whole Foods has some soup. But I also need to get some probiotic um, yogurt. So I can continue putting that in my oatmeal. Because... I have been liking that. My avocados are not fully ready yet and I'm almost out of my kefir. Kefir, like natural probiotic and stuff like that. But I don't want to go to Trader Joe's because I want to get this sweet treat from Whole Foods. And I want to get two core bars because I'm no longer trying to have core bars for breakfast. I'm just trying to have it as a snack. Hopefully. Hopefully. So see about soup two core bars and maybe just one core bar so i can have that for tomorrow as a snack because throughout the week i don't think i'll need that um but yeah i'll get soup a core bar and a sweet treat along with forger's probiotic yogurt i'll show you guys my little haul soon and then what I have for dinner and then we will end the week <sighs> but I gotta edit because it is currently what time 5 36 17 36 is what my clock says because I do Greenwich time but yeah all right I'm gonna go to Whole Foods now and I will check in with you guys when I get back <sighs> I got a flat tire Man, this week, this week, um, 
I got goat milk kefir. I didn't get the forager one because Whole Foods had that. And I got a core bar. I got a brown sugar cookie. I will show you now. I'm going to have that tonight. Um, I didn't get soup. I got a burrito, so I'll show you that in a second once it's finished in the air fry. And I said I got a core bar. I also got these like avocado huggers because I have food huggers, but they were fine for the avocados that were small. But if you get Costco size avocados, which are massive, you need the avocado, the avocado size, like shape food hugger. So I got that at Whole Foods. Pretty much parked at Whole Foods, came out, got in my car. It said I had low tire pressure. So that means that the person who parked on my right side hit my car and hit the hubcap of my car and like punctured it, which punctured my tire and I now have a flat. So I was able to get home safely. Um, but yeah, like as soon as I got home, I got out the car, it was fully flat. And so I like called my grandma in a panic, just being like, can you stay on the line with me just to make sure I get home safely? I like almost wish I did not go to Whole Foods, but I recently got these tires, so hopefully they can replace it for me and it's not going to be too different a lot of difference in like mileage for replacing the tire and also I should through extended warranty be able to get someone out to my car in the morning and fill up my tire with gas and hopefully it's safe enough for me to drive to Costco to get my tire replaced because I need it replaced. Um, I'm just like frustrated. <laughs> I'm very, very frustrated. I'm glad that I called my grandma because she gave me perspective. Um, she's like, at least you have your health, at least like you're safe and you got home safely. Hold on, my burrito's done. I'm back. I'm having a glass. It was up to here. Um, a pomegranate juice. I thoroughly cooked my, air fried my burrito. Here I had to split it open because it was in the frozen section. So it's probably why it was not fully cooked yet. I like want to cry. I'm so frustrated. I'm so annoyed that that happened to my car, especially after what happened at work this week with just people doubting you but still like I was given a shot so I'm still able to be on that project and my grandma just gave me perspective on like okay just take one step at a time and this will be fine you won't have to replace all four tires because you don't have a lot of miles on your tires currently which is true so although I did drive about 2,000 miles with these new tires. Um, no, about 1,000 miles. So they have like 1,000 miles on them right now because I drove from Texas to Colorado. So I put 1,000 miles on all four tires. So hopefully it shouldn't be too bad with a new tire. Um, she was like, you would only really have to get all four replaced if you have a lot more miles on all of the tires that's where they would be like no you can't just replace one you would need to replace them all so i think i'm in a good spot and because it's under warranty and stuff like that at costco it should be fine it's just frustrating like it's just something that you don't want to be dealing with i could cry i'm not a crier but I'm like really good at reining in, but honestly, I should like let go because it's been a year. This pandemic has just been rough for all of us, <laughs> as we know. And I've done my fair share of crying, but which is not a lot for me, by the way. I don't, I'm not a, like, even if it's a really sad movie, I rarely cry unless I'm about to be on my period. Then the water works, they flow. But. Yeah, it's been an 
interesting year anyways i'm gonna finish the burrito and then i got the um i got the brown butter chocolate chunk cookie um from whole foods and then i have that burrito and then i'm having my pomegranate juice i'm not eating anymore uh for the rest of the day anyway but i ended the week at 223 sorry this has been this outro has been all over the place i literally got home and drove with a flat tire and i'm just really frustrated i just don't yeah i'm really frustrated so i'm not gonna apologize for my frustration because like my feelings are valid my emotions are valid so it just sucks that it happened but i I'm fortunate that like my tires are under warranty, that I'm in good health, that I didn't get into an accident while trying to get home, that Whole Foods was not like a highway away, like it wasn't super far um, from my apartment, so I didn't have to drive like a long time, but it was still enough for me to kind of freak out a little bit as I drove back home. So I'm just glad that the grocery store is close and I didn't have to go on the highway with this flat tire and that I made it home safely. So I thank God for that because, yeah, I'm alive and well and I'm in good health. And yeah, financially, hopefully this is not a taxing situation, but it's something that I'm going to have to deal with tomorrow. So, yeah there's that anyways it's gonna be fine it's gonna be okay I'm just frustrated right now which is a temporary feeling it's not a permanent feeling and I understand that so yeah ending the week at 223 pounds I did get ice cream that's another thing I got the so delicious oat milk oatmeal ice cream so I will have that tomorrow probably not tomorrow monday um yeah so that was like the other thing that i got you'll see it next week but if you've made it to the end of this video thank you so much for watching till the end i appreciate the love and support that you guys give me and the fact that you watch my videos it truly does mean the world to me and it is just an awesome cool thing an amazing cool thing to happen so thank you so much if you haven't already please give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all things that i am doing and comment down below say hi i say hi back and don't forget to stay kind stay true and stay laughing and don't you worry i will start laughing because i'm gonna watch something funny to build up my mood um right now um and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.